So this is the beauty salon. Before we go into the studio. Yeah, this is what you gotta do before you're on camera. That's why I always look so good. All right, so let's see a brief tour of our studio where we film. It's just this little room that we're really cramped in. So Bethany is getting ready. She's bookmarking the verses she's gonna read on camera. And so this is our little table. And you can see this room is very small. This is supposed to be a master bedroom of some kind. And so we've got these lights. It's kind of, a, so we use shower curtains to diffuse the light on these. Um, so it's a nice budget way. Let me turn on some of these. And, um, and then we have a little ring light to accent a little more. We've got a big pile of toys here and props. And then as you can see, there's a lot of different things all around to keep the sound from being echoey. I mean, that echoey room sound. So these are boards with these really thick kind of blankets that are really cheap at the store. You can get these for like 10, 10 or $15. And it's a lot cheaper than buying professional sound dampening stuff. and some pillows and then over here we've got a blue screen slash green screen or mattress material for other stuff and then more padding we've got this whole window mattressed in and then we've got this nice view out here a little balcony with a hammock and a view of the mountains of Oaxaca and we got this thick curtain to dampen the sound, so we closed this when we're recording. This is Bethany's beautiful art table, and she's working on a new landscape painting. She's doing the layers with oils here. Here's a recent cactus painting with oil pastels, and this is where all the magic happens with the editing. So uh, I made we we actually made this table together, so it's a standing desk. And uh, we put this top on it and cut it and varnished it ourselves. And then, um, so we got a, this computer set up and uh, she's able to stand here or sit or um, we got a little walking treadmill that she can walk while she edits on the computer since she spends a lot of time there. And then there's this little kind of booth that we built around so that the echo from the roof doesn't uh, cause problems with the sound. So you can see this is just, you know, we bought some boards really cheap at the hardware store. And then back here is the background. So this is a big mattress as well. So it keeps the background looking clean, but it also helps dampen the sound. And then we have a green screen behind it if we if we need it. And then we light it up with these three lights, so um, this keeps it nice and bright and looking good. Oh, and also there's a light up here. Um, you can see that uh, also helps light up our background. So we've got a lot of lights. So if we count them, we've got uh, one down here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lights that we'll have on. While we're filming then here's the the whole camera rig uh, that we're using and um, for a mic we actually have tried different things but this little lapel mic works the best so what we did instead of having the the typical little clip on it took some plasti tack with a paper clip embedded in it and then this just hooks right on your shirt and it's a lot less visible and uh, it works this plastic text help helps dampen the sound so that's um, this is like a $20 little mic that wires up to the camera Asher ito. Vayakum David v'chol ha'am asher ito. 
ויעברו את הירדן עד אור הבוקר. ויקום דוד וכל העם אשר איתו ויעברו את הירדן עד אור הבוקר. ויקום דוד וכל העם אשר איתו ויעברו את הירדן עד אור הבוקר. קאט. מת בים ובני ישראל עברו את הים ביבשה. I wasn't going to say it, I am there. Tzva Mitzrayim met Bayam. Uvne Yisrael avru Bayabasha. Vayabasha. Tzva Mitzrayim met Bayam. Uvne Yisrael avru Vayabasha. Okay, so we're done filming. Just need to get this memory card out and hand it over to Beth. I was so excited to get my hands on this footage and start editing right away. And yeah, there oh, she's right. off. She's going to get sucked into her world of editing. It's a good thing I'm hungry or I would probably get sucked in right away and you wouldn't see me again for like three hours. But... And so the file copying begins. These are massive files.
finish our evenings up here on the terrace looking at sunsets like this. Here's Beth making her amazing granola. It's now the evening. And if you taste the stuff, it's better than chocolate. So good. Yes? Oh, you're recording now. <laughs> so this is our living room and music room, our piano, some of my artwork on the walls, which we just recently got hung up, so I worked to drill into this concrete. Um, Andrew loves dinosaurs, so basically all he ever asks for for Christmas or his birthday or any occasion in which I give him a gift is a dinosaur painting. So. I don't even have to ask, I already know what he's going to want. So the collection is growing and he already has like three more ideas. He's like, oh, can you do this dinosaur painting for me? So I'm sure there'll be more to come. <laughs> and then over here you have a little Egypt section. I usually say that if I had a second life to live, I'd probably be an Egyptologist in the second one. Um, so I love ancient Egypt. So that comes out in some of my artwork. I really see it with the glass effect reflection. Yeah. And you have to see Andrew's butterfly collection. Absolutely must see. He's been collecting butterflies since he was a kid. And some of these are the original ones he collected when he was a kid. And then a lot of them are new gems. And so we just love being able to see the amazingly beautiful bright colors God has created uh, here in our dining room. And this is some of your beautiful artwork. You're in Africa. Oh, do you want to tell them about this thing down here? Oh yeah, we got to tell them about this. Yeah. This is a little uh, memory from our time in Equatorial Guinea, working with a musical group that um, was created by some friends of ours, uh, Brand Brothers, in Kualong. This is a traditional fang instrument from Central Africa called an ngu. And then this is a CD of all the recordings of scripture that we did with, together with them, uh, set in the Fong language and with original Fong music written by our brother Canuto. So this is a little memento of that period a year's of, worth of, of our life. Yeah. yeah. Play it like this. Of course with the CD in here it doesn't work so well, but you get different... Uh, this is a miniature one. The this is a tiny one. Normally giant. they're like this. Big Huge, logs. like big ones. Yeah. But, um, get a little... I, I can't. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, and then here are some more butterflies. So like a design I've made. So the books themselves mean? Yeah. <laughs> and this is a cool thing she did for my birthday with beetle wings. Oh, that's our dining room. Very exciting. So here's Andrew doing some of his work. Hello. Consulting for the Mixtech project. Yep. So uh, this is paratext right here. I've got Spanish and English translations, the back translation, the Mixteco translation, Hebrew, and a translation guide here. And my beautiful bride. Oh, whoops, that's me. And then uh, check this out. I turned this on. Voila. Uh huh. And I glow in the dark paintings. Although it looks way cooler at night, I gotta say. Yeah. So, thanks for stopping by. Hey, so now we're headed off to Andrew's parents' house. They live about 10 minutes away and they invited us over for lunch today, so. Blinding entrance ever. Dad! Okay. <laughs> <Yeah. Jeez. laughs> you don't need a, what do you call those screens? <laughs> hey, Dad. Hi. <sighs> well, welcome. We're uh, doing a little yeah. bit of vlogging here. Here's Andrew tuning his parents' piano. Getting supper or dinner or lunch. Lunch ready over here. Hi, Hi Janet. Here we are on our way home again. <laughs> Bougainvilleas. Oh, they're so beautiful. Look at that color. Andrew's masterful backing up skills in action. I can't do this.